I'm Dave Chance and uh, live here in Lebanon, Indiana, and uh, I grow uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat. We grow approximately 1,300 acres of corn and about 600 acres of soybeans and uh, about 100 acres of wheat annually, and uh, also operate a small uh, fair to finish hog operation. Um, Kind of the ones that we have, we've experimented with a lot of different ones in the past, uh, but the kind of the staples that we use now, uh, typically uh, on uh, a, a crop ahead of soybeans, um, on corn stalks going to soybeans, uh, we really have kind of landed on cereal rye as uh, one that we would consider to be a staple uh, cover crop. Um, and as I kind of talked about before uh, with you, the, uh, the synergy between cereal rye and soybeans, there's just a there's a synergistic effect there um, between it. But we like it because it's a hardy winter crop. Um, we grow a lot of carbon, we get a lot of soil cover, and the synergism between the, the beans and uh, and the rye crop really seems to be good. And it really stimulates biology. You really see a lot of uh, interesting biology in the field, and and we really like that uh, as well. So. We do that on about probably uh, three quarters to seven eighths of uh, our corn stalks that are going uh, to soybeans. And on the other uh, balance, um, we still use some annual ryegrass, typically on fields that are a little uh, higher clay content, and we need to establish deep roots. Uh, and we like the benefits of the deep roots. Uh, the disadvantages, obviously, it's hard to kill and, and um, seems to be some volunteer issues, but. Um, but for certain acres, we, we use that ahead of soybeans. And um, on, our, uh, on our corn uh, that uh, is being planted behind soybean stubble, um, we've kind of landed on a couple different combinations that we're using that we like. Um, one combination is oats and uh, crimson clover, and in some cases, app and turnips uh, with those um, as kind of a three-way mix. And we like to do that on soybean stubble that historically has uh, heavy annual winter weed pressure. Um, we feel like we are able to control that and smother it out with the cover crops. And, um, and it's a nice mix of species that seems to also be synergistic with the corn. On other soybean stubble acres, um, we're using uh, groundhog radishes and Austrian winter peas, and then also using uh, crimson clover as well. Um, and really as much as anything there uh, for nitrogen production and uh, also on the radishes uh, compaction relief and um, a real real benefit to the radishes too is we really see a lot of earthworms flock to uh, those, uh, those radish carcasses and uh, it really seems to stimulate the biology.